Once Buddha was in a deep meditative state. A young man who was very upset came to Buddha. Buddha asked him the reason. The young man told him that his father has died and he wants to perform the best afterlife rituals for his father. And despite of his father's good or bad actions in his life, he wants his father's soul to go to heaven. He said, I could have gone to any priest, but I have come to you with this request. I want you to perform afterlife rituals for him. So that in his afterlife, he can gain entry to heaven and permanently resides there. Buddha listened to the man and said, Go to the market and buy two earthen pots. Also bring some butter and some pebbles to fill the pots. Young man went to market and bought them, thinking that this was for ritual. Then young man filled one pot with butter and another with pebbles and brought them to Buddha. Buddha then told him to put them in a nearby pond. Young man did as said and both pots sank to the bottom of pond. Now Buddha asked him to bring a stick and strike both pots and break them open. He did so thinking that now the Buddha would perform a wonderful ritual for his father. As young man hit pots and break them open, the butter escaped from first pot and floated to the surface. Whereas stones from other pot settled at the bottom. Buddha said, I have done this much, now call all your priests. Let them come and pray, O oh pebbles rise to the surface, O oh butter sink to bottom. Young man replied, Are you joking? How is it possible? It is against the law of nature. Pebbles are heavier than water. They are bound to stay down, can't float. Whereas butter is lighter than water. It is bound to float, cannot go down. Buddha replied, Young man, you know so much about nature, yet do not want to understand the law that is applied to one and all. No one can be untouched from the law of karma. If your father kept performing the wrong actions like pebbles and stones, he was bound to go down. Then no one can pull him up. If he kept performing right actions which are lighter than butter, he is bound to go up. Then no one can push him down. The man understood the law of karma. He bowed down to Lord Buddha. Our difficulty is that we think that some invisible power will somehow favor us. Even though we do nothing to change our own behavior pattern, our own actions. We should understand that this is eternal law of nature. Fruits depend on our actions. We must be careful about our actions in daily life. Either good or bad, we are going to get it back. It is the law of karma. So, we should be mindful of our actions. We must do only good things in our daily life. 